Okay, so, just a reminder, this game is still under development. This is Manor Lords. Not Banner, not to be confused with Banner Lords, which is another game that I've put a little bit of time into. This is Manor Lords. Very different. Well, is it really different? It is different from Banner, Banner Lords. But, or Banner Lord, sorry. Manor Lords versus Banner Lord. Right? Anyway, continue. And of course, uh, new game. So you get to go and you pick your little portrait. Oh, we got to get a name. What name should we use? I don't know. This is pretty tough. Oh, a portrait. Uh, not a big selection of portraits. I'm sure that'll be modded in at some point. I don't know if they're going to allow this game to be modded or not. I didn't see that on the little entry screen, but we'll take you. Oh, we can't do... Oh. Blah. So custom textures... Oh, can even do coat of arms and stuff you can save. Okay, so, coat of arms. Uh, let's see. Look at the coat of arms over here on the right first. Look for something that's dogish or butterfly ish. Dun -dun. Not seeing any butterflies. Oh, even better. Squirrel. So, leave the squirrel there for now. I think we're gonna... Do, we're gonna do the squirrel. Hey, Xanthium, welcome back. Uh, solid background, yeah, that'll work. Um, primary color of the shield. Let's see. Let's do black. Oh, that looks good. It's a nice little gray squirrel or a white squirrel. Or is there a brown? Brown squirrel for, you know, brown for a ground squirrel, but that's too, it's more red than brown. So we'll stick with the gray. Nice gray. That's not too bad. And look, he's juggling a little acorn. And we can save it too. Save and finished. Works for me. Okay, so, game setup. Scenario templates. Uh, rise to prosperity. Fulfill the requirements of your citizens. Plan and rule your medieval town as you see fit within worrying, without worrying about combat. Victory conditions. Reach the large town settlement level. At that, you may choose to continue in the endless mode. Restoring the peace. Two territories in the north are claimed by the illegitimate baron whose castle is located off the map. Bandit camps reside in the other unclaimed regions. Build and expand at your own pace. Uh, when ready, challenge the Baron for the Northern Territories. Conquer every region is a victory. On the edge, uh, grow your city and raise forces as quickly as you can. The funds are, the lands are pestered by raiders and undefended settlements will quickly perish. Victory, survive all the attacks and reach the large town settlement level. I think we'll go with number two, restoring the peace. Okay, end goal. Domination, conquest, none, growth, domination. That's what that one is. So it actually just presets it. Yeah, it just presets that stuff. So that works. So present, off map adversary, yeah, aggressiveness is balanced. Raider frequency is medium. Sure. Raider for your years is two. Initial bandit camps is one. Random bandit camps, spawn limit up to three. Starting season is the spring. Standard stuff, stuff. Okay, that sounds fine. Keep in mind, this game is in early access, so things may change or become more developed over time. Loading. Guardian Soulblade, welcome to the stream. Eight days and you, you'll get to play? Why eight days? Okay, new message. Look at all the stuff at the top of the screen. Oh yeah, there's plenty. There's lots of medieval games out there now. 
Uh, build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims toward the regions owned by your opponents. Uh, once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. I'll unite these lands under my rule. You didn't get a review copy or anything like that. Not a big YouTuber. Just be a be a bigger uh, Twitcher. That's how I got mine. Oh yeah, this is a review copy. Or review code. Courtesy of the publishers. Thank you, publishers. Forgot to say that. Dum dum dum. So. If you got to ask one, I didn't even ask for one. They sent me one. But that's because I've done enough uh, stuff with uh, the publisher in the past. That's how I got it. So. Anyway. And manor lords. Families need food and fuel and a roof above their heads to survive. Supplies in the region panel. Blah, blah, blah. Got it. Okay, so we got speed, space pauses. So this map. Now. So we got resources. This is where we are. What's this over there? Trade point. Cheap grades for import. Work in progress, so yeah. People need food, I know. Okay, we got a clay deposit, we got wild animals, we got berry deposits, we got stone, and we got iron up there. So this. So now I did was it last week? Last week I was trying this out when I first got the key and stuff, just to make sure it was, you know, working. And um starts off in the same position on the map. But the resources are in different locations. Like the other game I was playing, the wild animals actually start up here. The iron was over here. The clay and stone were up in this area. And the berries were roughly the same spot. So. Stuff. It's some clay and wild animals. So this does change how things start. Okay, this view shows the regions. Blah, blah, blah. Got it. So, hopefully, those people sent. So, top left hand corner, this is your population of five. They're unassigned. So, unassigned people will um, basically build stuff. Um, and once stuff is built, you can assign people to buildings to do those specific jobs. So, what we want to do, we want to do, and we start with a little hitching post with a little cow. We've got a supply of lumber. We got food, people. Okay, so how structured do we want to be? Oh, and the animals. If you put, there's a hunting building you're supposed to put down and, you know, for hunting the animals. But if you put it too close to the wild animals, the animals go away. They f go somewhere else. So you got to be careful there. So roads. Roads and carts. Some workplaces allow village. Villagers to use hand carts to transport up to 10 goods at once. However, building a hand cart off road is extremely slow, so make sure to connect your buildings to roads. Got it. That way. This way into the forest ish um, construction. Every region of Manor Lords has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility before deciding on the direction of your town. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade early. Got it. So here's our overlay over on the right. So this shows you the fertility for growing particular types of troop, uh, crops. So emmer. I don't know what emmer is. Does anybody know what emmer is supposed to be? I don't know if it's supposed to be wheat. I've never heard of Emmer before. Flax, though, this is for clothing, of course, which apparently we're kind of screwed on fertility there. So we're not going to be growing too much flax. Emmer is wheat. Thank you. So Emmer. So we could do... Grow wheat in this area. That little band. The animals won't like it, but they'll just relocate, I think. And the barley. Barley you need for making, you know, beer and stuff. Wow, we got kind of screwed here, didn't we? This is not a farming area. Oops. There we go. 
It's a barley rye. So it looks like uh, wheat is probably our best bet if we do the farming thing. We've got animals over here. Oh look, they're hiding in the forest. Little deer. But we can build a farm here. So, grow. And we have a my a clay thing up there, so worry about that in a little bit. Okay, so what I've learned so far from my brief little one hour play take play test. You have to build houses to attract more people to the city or to your little town, but your your approval has to go up as well. So you have to build basically buildings people want, like a uh, market, temple, uh, inn, that kind of stuff. Of course, you know, jobs. So, but first they want to live in houses. Not a forger hut. No, I mean, no sorry, this is the wrong thing. We want uh, residential. So a bridge plot. So some buildings have flexible borders, place four points to designate area. Curse will snap the roads, blah, blah, blah. You can leave more space uh, for future extension upgrades. The first two points mark the front of the housing by default. So what that means. Here. See the little pointed area. That's... You want that pointing towards a road, because that's where they're going to be walking in and out of the house. And then the size of the plot determines what gets put on the plot. Now there's the housing area, and then the space beyond that, this, you can build additional stuff onto these plots, like uh, a chicken coop or a vegetable farm. And the people will, you know, work that land too. So the question is, is, you know, what you want to do. Or how many do you want to build? So. This way. So we get two decent sized plots here if we do this. Seems overly big, but. Hmm. About more like this. Too short. Okay, so this will work. It's actually a little too wide, isn't it? It's a lot of extra space on the sides. Still too big. Might be easier just to do it this way. That's not big enough. Plot is too small. It's facing the... Oh, because we did that wrong. Rukros, welcome back. How is building our castle going? Castle? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you can get the, an extra residential spot with that width. But we don't want to. Do we? This is important stuff. There's three plots. Man, that seems small. There we go. Okay, so that's what we want. Start building. Okay, and while they're building that stuff up, sign family, start construction, got it. Actually, what we really need, too, is we need, um, not mining, gathering. Probably should have built the logging camp first. Timber requires auction to be moved. Villagers will automatically get the ox when they need it. So we get that. I guess I should unpause the game. This is where our homeless people live. Get to work. Go build your houses. And each housing thing is good for one family. 
and we have, I think it's five families is really what that means. That doesn't mean five people, I think it's five families. Where is it? Because I count six people. I count seven people. I count eight people. So it's got to be families. It's families. And it would show it's March, but living in tents is not that good for you. Of course it is. You can live in tents for a long time. In almost all cases, resources of lords have to be physically moved. It can take a moment, so feel free to change the game speed if you feel like it. I don't feel like it at the moment. Actually, we're going to bump this priority up. Just because you need to get this, uh, you know, lumber produced. Hey, T5, welcome back. Tents work in the cold fine, as long as you have a nice warm sleeping bag. Tents are more about keeping the, the wet off of you. The water and snow. Not so much for keeping you warm. Why not build a block of flats or two? That's what we're doing. This is a block here. These are houses. I think they're actually building the houses. Sort of. And then once that's built... Never live in a pair of Kansas dwellings. As that would be too intense. Hey, Skybird, welcome back. Yes, it would be very intense. Okay, so other building, other stuff we can be able to build. Um, we've got uh, Woodcutter's Lodge. This is for turning uh, the lumber into firewood, which people will need for various reasons. There's a saw pit, which turns timber into planks, which is for building stuff. Forester's Hut. Workers plant new trees in specified zones, so you can have more trees. There's a hunting camp for you know, hunting wild animals, which is over to the right of us. There's a forager hut for collecting berries and stuff. And whatever, apiary, which is currently locked, because there's a technology tree of sorts. So again, the animals are in here. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, we need storage, too. But there's mining, currently stone, and a mining pit for iron ore. Logistics, so a granary, storehouse, pack station, and a hitching post. We already have a hitching post. The pack station is, oh, a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command, which we don't have yet. So, storehouse. Oh, we need to build a well. So there's our, our water, underground water. So we'll just build a well right about. This building has no assigned families. That would be the lumber camp. Oh, we probably because we don't have enough lumber. Okay, so sign a family. You can sign up to three families here. People who are currently working there. Advanced stuff. This is just basically to designate where exactly where you want them to work, or you just leave it unlimited and they just do what they want to do. And then livestock if it's appropriate, I believe. When can we extract our first skyscraper? Oh, not even close. It's got to be at least another 15 minutes. I've heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that it may be spread about me, signed by and sealed by my own seal, Hildbolt von Burnett. Uh, right back, end conversation. End conversation. Homeless will uh, move to a plot, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building to check. Uh, for their needs, basically. So these guys. Well, human workforces have to be assigned by default. Livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. However, <laughs> you can bind it to a workplace permanently in the advanced tab if you want to. So this is our first house that's done. This right here, construct a backyard extension. Vegetable garden, chicken coop, goat shed. Now, this costs money to build these. You can see the little 15 and 25. 
How much money do we currently have? Um, how much money do we have? I don't see that. Oh, there we go. Regional wealth is 50. Right? Sounds right. Probably. So we can either... We can only buy... We can only do two of these. Does this take place in the Holy Roman Empire? I don't know where this takes place. It's a fictional place, I believe. They changed carrots from the demo. Hmm. Do you want goats, chickens, or vegetables? We can only have, again, two of these. Let's start off with goats and chickens. Chickens first. Then you. Goats. Goats! Probably ancient ru Ruintania, yes. People working here. But we're using up all the lumber to build these houses. There's our goats. Ah, there's our chicken coop. Carrots used to cost tools in the demo, so no one used carrots. Oh, yeah, well, tools are kind of hard to find sometimes. Exposed goods. Oh, that's right. We need to build some storage stuff. Um, logistics. Granary. Storage house. Let's do... Granary. Not enough goods. Need more lumber. So what about a... Storehouse. Need more lumber. Actually, we can put two families in here for now. Because I actually put three families in here for now. Because they don't. This house is almost built. Once they're planning. Uh, once they were planning on making a musical sequel to The Prisoner of Zenda, starring Elvis Presley, it was going to be called. Return to Zenda. Oh, God, Skybird. Who's gonna... If... <sighs> and Guardian Soulblade. Thank you very much for the follow. But it's like 12th century, so carrots shouldn't be red yet. They weren't red. They were orange. Speed this up a little. One week and two year wait for this game will be over. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. How do you know they weren't orange? Were you there? Okay, now we can build some store stuff. So, granary? Granary and storehouse. But we need more. Do we need more lumber? Yeah, we need one more. Because they're using that for. You guys work too slow. Of course I was. Who do you think I am? Well, if you really want to know the answer, I think you're you're secretly a person living in Florida, but you're too embarrassed to say you're a Floridian, so you pretend to live in Poland. Ah, the humor there. Sometimes it's funny. Storehouse right next to the logging place. Makes it quicker. 
Okay, let's build some more roads. Away. Okay, where are those berries? Way up there. I guess we keep building the road that way then. There. And then we'll build a. Uh, what is it? Uh, gathering. Logging camp, woodcutter lodge, saw pit. Forester. That's for planting trees. Hunting camp or the forager. Forager hut. I'll put you up. Yeah, I'll put you up by the berries. How could a Floridian make so many mistakes using American English? You don't make many ex mistakes using American English. You, you actually speak better than a Floridian. That's why I'm not positive that you really live there. Have you talked to somebody from Florida? Oof. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Have you spoken to somebody from Florida? There we go. Mucusa Floridian? Is, is a fluoride? No, it's Floridian, not fluoride. Okay, we need a um, hunting camp to, to go hunt the animals over here. Exposed stocks are getting soaked. Well, where's our storage? This is the granary. Got to assign somebody to that. And the storehouse. Got to assign somebody to that. Now we have nobody, so we have to take some people away from here. Oh, we didn't build our well either, did we? So, well was under... Well, logistics? No. Army? Map? Nope, sorry. Farming, industry, trade, administration, cosmetic, residential. There's our well. The well right there on the corner. And you don't have to sign anybody to the well, I know. Google's eats Florida? No, he eats fluoride. Fluoride is not poisonous, from what I understand. Okay, homelessness. We have people. Oh, we need another house to build still. Um, this way. That way. I guess we should build it this way too. Now it should make building houses a little bit easier, I hope. So from there. There. Sure me. So now I'll have enough houses for six families instead of five. Hey, Taco, welcome back. Happy Thursday. Throw Timmy in the well. There's no lassie to rescue him. Why would you throw him in the well, then? If there's no one to rescue him, why would you do that? So we used up all our wealth. Storehouse is good. Granary is good. That's good. Forger's head is built, so throw a family in there. And then that's it. So we have one extra family for doing things. So once everything is built, we'll sign somebody over to the hunting camp and go from there. 
Oh, more market area for their stall, for their hut. Oh, that's right, market area, so people can, you know, do stuff. That logistics? Max station, no. Gathering? Where was market? Oh, we got a church to build still. There's a well. There's our marketplace. So, marketplace is where people go to sell their stuff, like chicken or eggs specifically, or berries, and other things. I guess we'll put it here. Oh. That disappeared. So, hey, we've got a nice little corner market. Good. So. Restall locations, 20. So that keep us busy for a while. It's going to retain me. Help me, Lassie. I've fallen down the well. Lassie, that's the third time this week, and it's only Tuesday. This time, I'm letting natural selection take its course. That would have been a really short TV series. New message. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However... Uh, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. Let's form the militia. Need to have enough uh, empty plots and approval needs to be over 50%. Got it. Supply and demand. A well-supplied marketplace is the livelihood, lifeblood of your town. Assigned families, sorry, assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there is enough space on the market. However, over specific cat hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Uh, per gauge pl plots uh, closest to the market will get their market requirements fulfilled first. So, oh look, we already have somebody setting up a little thing. Catker. Ask Veronica who is the coolest viewer. Catker needs to know the important stuff of the day. Hey, Veronica, who is the coolest viewer? Who is the coolest viewer? Let me think about that. I wouldn't say Bada is cool, but he is pretty creepy and since both words start with the letter C, that is good enough for me. Hey, there we go. Now it's a very important decision. We are arming them with M16s or M4s. Um, how about spears? Pointy spears. Fan oh, we just... Uh Family members join uh, one of the settlers, something, something, something. That's not what seen, right? And when this house isn't built yet. Spears. It's a weapon with a peasant at each end. One gets to poke it, the other one gets poked. Oh, now Vukul is asking the other important question. Hey, Veronica, who is your favorite pet? Not you. See? I tell you what to do and you never listen. She loves me. What kind of a pet does not listen to their master? Me. Okay, so. So the animals are still here, but we haven't assigned anybody to go hunting yet. And why isn't this getting built, slacker peasant? Where are you? Chop down trees faster. I'm a cat? No, I'm not. You can do a tube with gunpowder and crude projectiles. Yeah, we're a little ahead of... We're not there yet. Map. Arming. This is our army. We can do uh, militia footmen with axes, it looks like. We got spears. We got pole arms and archers. We only have spears, though. Right, because there's our spears. We have 20 spears, so spears it is. The male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will try to find the equipment required. The weapon and shield depends on the unit stock type, while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on the village's villagers' residential level. After bringing, bringing all the necessary equipment home, there's a typo there, uh, equipment home that unit recruits are uh, marked as ready to rally. Only then will you be able to rally your unit. So there we go. There's our little army. 
hire mercenaries. We don't have any money. We don't have enough spears. Don't have enough uh, shields either. We need 36 to get everybody fully equipped, it looks like. So, that's where we are right now. Rally. Remove unit. Pick a rallying spot and mobilize this unit for combat. Not yet. They got stuff to do still. Jump down that tree. Okay, so these guys are gathering berries. Are they? Got one in storage. So our storehouse currently has 65 things in it. Oh yeah, we have to make firewood. Forgot about that. Granary. Oh look, it's got food in it. We need a duck so that we can spot a witch. Well, you need a pond too, don't you? We don't have any ponds or ducks. So we need to get our approval up to 50%. And more people will join us. Number of months before supplies run out. Well, that's good. Come on, hurry up and build this house so we can assign you to, to uh, making food. To, sorry, catching food. Rain. Rain is real. Guess I can speed it up, huh? Where's all the mud and filth? It's right here in front of us. See, they're walking through it, basically. These aren't paved roads. These are dirt roads. We can chop down the trees. Apparently you don't chop down the fruit trees. more carts? Well, we can only afford the one we have. Help my dead ones? We don't have any dead people yet. Yet. Okay, we're at 49% now. Here, we'll sign you guys to go get us some, uh, some meat and stuff. And in the meantime, what else? Um, church? We're a little short on... Oh, we need planks for a church. So we need some other stuff. Gathering. Woodcutter's launch for firewood and saw pit for planks and stuff. So we need firewood, I know that. Get you close over to here where the wood's being, you know, harvested. That. Oh, what happened there? Just jumped all over the place all of a sudden. Okay, so this is for making. work. But you're not dead. Of course you are. Get smacked by a shovel, you're certainly dead. You got plenty of shrubberies. Oh, we need somebody to, uh, you know. Sorry, but we're going to have to sign you guys to go build stuff. Because we do have the foragers for collecting food. Oh, look, we're up to 45. Dun, dun. 
Hey, we're up to 53%. We should have somebody joining us soon. We should probably build another house, though. Away from the animals, so we'll build a set of houses up here. Running out of fuel, well... Somebody would join us. So the saw pit is for food. Or sorry, not food, fuel. Where is it? No, the woodcutter's lodge is for fuel. Shoot. Gotta be built first. Construction. Hey, despair to welcome back. He's a lumberjack, and that's okay. As long as he's cutting down trees and not people, yeah, it's perfectly okay. Twenty-five timber. Is that gonna be enough for now? What was this? Not enough supplies. Someone needs more food or more fuel. Check the supply stuff. So what's this then? The Woodcutter's Lodge. I've learned new buildings. Yeah, this produces our firework, which we don't have a lot of. Importantly, they told us if we get our uh, approval up to f over 50% and we have housing, somebody will move in. Nobody's moved in yet. Probably because we don't have enough slots, not supplies. Generic storage is full. Excess goods may be moved to a storehouse, otherwise, workers may stop production, and the overflowing storage is vulnerable to the weather damage. So. There's our granary. That space. Storehouse. It's got plenty of space. So where's our general? General storage. That's a hitching post. I don't know where this general storage is. Because it's not here. Yeah, it just moves, it just centers the camera. It doesn't really bring us the actual store. There's nothing here that's stored. Oh, we do have a six family. Okay, then. So. Um, need more food. So I'll have you guys work on food while I decide where we're going to build our next house. This stuff. I think I was going to do it over here. But we still need uh, an inn in a church. We can't build them until we have the materials, which kind of sucks. Um, logistics? Residential. Okay, so how big is this church? What I can do is basically do a little road map for it. Not enough goods. Oh, we need the, the planks in order to build this. Okay, well, we'll set up a road going through here. I'll put the church right there on the corner. Church is roughly that big, so put another road going up this way. So that should give us plenty of room for a church. Yep, plenty of room. Okay, and then we're also going to need a tavern, which... We can put 
but farther, right next to the church. <laughs> we'll put it right next to the church. And we'll do another set of houses over here. Or here. Let's see where we get in this space, actually. So, houses. Two. Built it this way. Or go this way. Get four houses this way. But this one doesn't, because it's a. Oh, there we go. It's not a work. There's four more houses need to be built. Finish this road. Go this way. Why did it jump me over there? Hey, I to I need it is time to take a break. But. But. Your next break is in one hour. Okay, so. Food wise. Generic storage, pantry, granary. Storage. So, where do we. Oh, we can cut back on lumber, I think, for a little bit, can't we? Oh, we still only have 25 temper. That's okay. We'll take them out, and that should be enough to get stuff some, some stuff built. Because it's only, what, two, I think, for a house, or is it one? It's two per house, so that's eight. We have that. Um, we're not building a church or the inn yet, or tavern, whatever it's called. So that's the only thing we're building, is the houses. Because we need more space. Okay, so, we'll let this run while I'm taking a break, and I'll be back in a few minutes to continue on. So, thank you all very much for watching. I get to get up, stretch my legs, get some water. And like I said, be back in a few minutes. Uh, enjoy the dog video. Be back shortly. <laughs> 